Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's Two Minute Fishing Report. Well folks, we just came off a very busy weekend here at the store being the free fishing weekend and thankfully a lot of the fish cooperated around in the lakes. A lot of guys come back with smiles on their faces and that's what it's all about. Some of the lakes up in the northeastern part of the state that have been producing fish continue to do so. Uh, bitter, a lot of uh, fish being caught in that, uh, let's say, 8 to 15 foot range. Uh, Wabe a little bit slower this week. Old Pits, uh, again, continues to do well, mainly the use of slip bobbers and leeches there. Uh, Swan Lake, Dry Lake by Florence, Indian Springs, and Enemy Swim are some of the other lakes that we've heard about this past week and weekend. Down the southeastern uh, part of the state, honestly, folks, I haven't heard as many lakes down here producing fish as what I've heard this spring. Uh, Dry Lake by Willow Lake, Ponson, Thompson, 81 Ponds, East Oakwood, Sinai, and Brand, all doing really well for walleyes. Uh, and then you get uh, Vermilion, Beaver, Twin, the Trophy Lake just north of Humboldt, and then also Wall Lake, all producing really nice walleyes. The Missouri River continues to do well out there. Guys are using a lot of live bait rigs out there, uh, to, whether or not they're pulling spitters with uh, crawlers or minnows, or jigging with minnows, uh, or a half par uh, portion of a crawler, or even a leech. Uh, guys are really doing well on Oahe as well as, uh, uh, as well as shark. Then in the other parts of the, the state, the guys are catching a few crappies. Uh, the main pan, panfish bite really isn't uh, hit right now. It's been what's fluctuating with the water temperatures, but the crappie bite uh, has been doing fairly well at Sinai, uh, Thompson, Pickerel, uh, as well as Vermilion and Ponson. What have they been using? Small minnows, small pieces of crawler on jigs, as well as the shiny hiney. So again, if you don't have any of that, stop on by the store and we'll hook you up. Folks, with this segment of the report, I'd like to explain a little bit more about crankbaits or what we call plugs. A number of people have a lot of questions, mainly because there's so many different types of plugs and crankbaits on the market. And with this segment, we're going to mainly concentrate on the Rapala brand. Uh, but one of the uh, main lures that a lot of guys use, especially in the uh, springtime, especially along the Missouri River, casting them from the rocks, is the floating, original floating wrap. The nice thing about this is that when you stop reeling, it will float up. So it's a good way to control your depth and also uh, really uh, makes it easier uh, to uh, release a snag. You don't want to lose a, a lure, if you know what I mean. The second one would be a countdown. Uh, a countdown is very popular uh, this time of year and throughout the entire year, casting from shore. Uh, the main reason is that for every second that you count as you let it sink, it will hold that depth. In other words, if I cast it and let it sink for an account to seven seconds, it will hold seven feet deep as I'm reeling in. So a really effective lure around here in eastern South Dakota. Uh, another one would be the shad wrap. And there are a number of different types of shad wraps on the market uh, from Rapala, whether or not you're talking about the glass shad wrap, the original shad wrap, uh, the jointed shad wrap, or this one that I'm holding in my hand is the, the shallow running shad wrap. The nice thing about this uh, one here is that, again, it's a good lure to cast from the boat or from shore uh, into the shallows, especially at this time of year. The original shad wrap, honestly, is a great lure to pull uh, when you're trolling for the boat, great lure to have, but again, if you're casting, the shallow running shad wrap is an excellent lure to have in your tackle box. And finally, one of my uh, quickly uh, more popular lures that I use, uh, my favorite lures I use, is the, the shadow wrap shad. Uh, the nice thing about this is that, again, you can control the depth, and a lot of times when you pause, that's when the strike will occur. Great running bait. Uh, I absolutely love it and uh, use it throughout the entire spring and summer, especially casting in the shallows. But again, the key is in the pause. So there are a number of different uh, types of plugs and crankbaits on the market. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call here at 605-336-9132 because you, there's a difference between you know, the sinkers, the, the floaters, uh, the suspending lures. We have them all right here at the store. Now it's time to take a look at a few photos that you sent in to me this past week. And remember, folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, please send it to me. Send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. 
Well, folks, as we end this week's uh, version of the Two Minute Fishing Report, I want to bring your attention and remind all of you that we are a dealer for the Yeti products. Whether or not you're talking about the Yeti coolers or drinkware, stop on by here at the store and take a look at all the Yeti products that we have on, on hand here at Dakota Angler. Uh, folks, obviously, as the camping season begins to unfold, you're going to need a cooler. And stop on by and you'll be amazed at the difference that a Yeti cooler can make on the amount of ice that you will use throughout the weekend. So a little investment on the front end will pay a huge dividends in the long end. So stop on by and we'll show you which cooler is right for you, as well as a piece of drinkware. We have the Yeti Ramblers, all the drinkware that you need uh, throughout the summer. Stop on by here at the store. Give us a call at 605-336-9132. And to entice you a little bit more, we're going to have a special offering over the next couple of weeks uh, as we approach Memorial Day weekend and Father's Day as well. A great Father's Day gift, by the way. But you, we'll have a number of envelopes up here, and you buy a Yeti cooler, you choose one from one of those envelopes, and in that envelope will either be a $10 gift certificate, $20, $50, or even a $75 gift certificate. So don't uh, make sure you don't miss out on this great offer here at Dakota Angler. Well, folks, that's this week's version of the Two Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner of Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on. Thanks for watching, and again, I appreciate your business. Take care.